Hey there, I am back with a style video that we really wanted to kind of talk to you guys about because I feel like a lot um, when you come into the showroom or just some of the messages that we get is about the half tuck or the French tuck, whatever you kind of want to call it. Um, it is a tuck that is really simple, but I guess some for some of our tops, it can be really difficult because there are different ways to tuck our tops. So I just wanted to kind of walk you through it and show you. I'm wearing Becca, so Becca has that curved hem. Um, so this half tuck's a little different because you're actually gonna just grab maybe like a couple inches from the front. And when you're wearing it with our pants, we do have a really high waist, especially when it comes to the Mickey and the Milo. So I do just tuck maybe about an inch of this hem into my high-waisted pant. So there it is, I just tucked that much into the pant. And then you're gonna blouse it over. And that's what's so great about the half tuck is when you blouse it over, and if you're concerned about your little poochy midsection like us moms, um, it creates this other like shelf away from your body. Um, and it kind of balances out the pooch part of your stomach. I know a lot of us feel like because we have this midsection, we wanna hide it by covering it with another, with a top. But sometimes that can kind of showcase that midsection a little more and what happens is if you are short like me i'm about five two um this length can kind of shorten our proportion so i like a half tuck just because i like to elongate my legs um, and create a shorter proportion at the top it's kind of a different kind of look i know i'm wearing black and navy right now um, so it makes it a little hard but the half tuck also allows the back half of the top to still stay out, which creates this beautiful like high-low look. You're still kind of covering your backside if you wanted to. So it does create just a more like put together kind of crisp styled look is what I think the half tuck does. So this is Becca half tucked in. I'm gonna come back and show you a couple other styles half tucked into our high-waisted pants. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I put the Misa on. The Misa is a little more of an oversized top. She does have a wider hem and I, this might confuse you, right? We have like a little notch at the bottom. Same happens for like Max and that sort of thing, but really the half tuck stays the same. I might tuck in a little more and that's just preference. So you can kind of play around with if you tucked in. So this is if I tucked in just maybe like two inches or an inch and a half. It creates a really nice blousey look. Actually, I don't have to tuck it more. <laughs> so um, it's really nice. It creates, again, that shelf, which kind of helps to kind of maybe balance out the midsection when the midsection does kind of protrude out from your body. Um, what I like is that a half tuck does create this shelf. So it's really nice. And then it creates this really nice kind of draped look. For me, I'm an A body type. And the reason why I love a half tuck is it still kind of covers my hips um, so it creates a really nice kind of drape that like this concave kind of shape that still covers my side hips which is nice and still balances out still will elongate my body um, but you can kind of see the difference just this is a this is more casual like I don't mind this like with leggings or a more fitted pant but if I do want to kind of create just a little more put together look that's what that half tuck or that French tuck does so that is with the Misa. I'm gonna come back one more time and show it uh, with a different hem from one of our styles. Okay, so I am back. I put on a Mandy. Um, she has that similar hem to Sawyer, which is a square hem with these two notches. You could do the usual half tuck if you wanted to, which would be just again to take one or two or three inches in the front and tuck that into your pants. It does create a really nice kind of drapey top kind of look. And then it still has this backsides and that's what kind of cuts my hips off but an easier way to do Sawyer or Mandy is to take these two side corners and tuck those corners into your pants just the corners um, and then it creates a really soft kind of tuck again you're gonna have that shelf that this top will create for you to kind of kind of like meet up with your midsection I guess you could say um, but it does create a really nice longer bottom half elongating your legs cutting off your hips if that's what you want as well because this is the way the top was designed but that is another way to do the half tuck i'm going to show you one more top because maybe this is also a little confusing i'll be right back okay i am back and i put on a shorter top so something that's like a little shorter in the front this is laura 
Um, similar to like a Megumi, it's something that has a shorter front and a longer back already. It's kind of already close to my waistband, so you would kind of maybe not half tuck it. I half tuck almost everything, that's just the way I am. So I would still kind of take just this, when it's a shorter top, similar, you know, um, in kind of hem, you're kind of close already to my natural belly buttons right here. You don't have to take as much of the hem to tuck. So I might take in just a little inch, inch and a half and just tuck that in. So you're just gonna use your thumbs and just kind of like shove it into your waistband and that creates the blousiness. If you took too much, and some people might like this, right? If you took in a little more, it actually creates a straighter hem um, and you're actually gonna show more of your midsection. So maybe that's a lot of the confusing part of a half tuck is you're just gonna take a little bit. So if you measured out like an inch, an inch and a half, you put your thumbs into your shirt and you just kind of shove it into your pant waistband. And then it creates that really nice blousiness. It does take the hem up a little bit, but it still leaves this beautiful drape on the side, which is why I think I love the French tuck or the half tuck so much is because it creates that beautiful drape that our tops have while still tucking it in and making it just look a little more put together. Especially when you throw on a jacket, I feel like a half tuck is really nice because you're creating that shorter proportion, um, especially because you're gonna cover your sides. So now you have a short proportion of a top in the front and then the long leg um, of your pants. So that's a really nice kind of look. So that my friends is a half tuck or a French tuck. Um, super easy, but if you have any questions you need further advice or tips and tricks, just let us know. You can always email us, DM us, come into the showroom, call us anything you need we're here to kind of help and support you so thank you so much for joining me with this style video i will see you all very soon have a beautiful day